coming up to me in the gym, asking me questions like, how do you do this? Or how, what did you do for that? Or can you help me here? And I just start off helping people, not as a business. If your gym's feeling kind of empty these days, blame it on Dallas Radke. She's the one shaking things up lately. The 60-year-old trainer has got folks thinking about swapping their gym memberships for resistance bands and dumbbells right at home. The powerhouse of a woman has been flaunting her toned abs and enviable physique. And why wouldn't she? Dallas Radke is nothing close to your average senior. Living in Chandler, Arizona, Dallas is a fitness fanatic who swears by her mission to spread the vital message that age is merely the number of years the world has been enjoying you. Dallas's journey is inspiring. Having run three marathons consecutively and snagging second place in her first figure competition at 38 after having her fifth child. Back in 2020, she became a TikTok sensation by sharing her fitness wisdom, specifically for menopausal women. And guess what? She's gained over half a million followers since then with her easy, low-impact workouts. When asked about the ideal age to start a fitness journey, she said, It's never too late to move your body, ever. I don't want people to get discouraged and think because they've hit a certain age, they can't build muscle. I want people to realize that you don't need to go to the gym to stay fit, to be agile, and to stay youthful and move. I mean, I'm a perfect example. Working out has become as natural as brushing my teeth in my daily routine. It's my desire to help other women through their journey of healthy aging while making it fun. I have figured out a few tricks and tips along the way that I want to share with you as well. They work great. So, what's the hype really about? In this video, we'll delve into Dallas Radke's secrets of healthy aging, including four health tips for menopausal women, top five foods she eats for longevity, top five foods she avoids at all cost, the four supplements she takes daily, and her workout routine. But before getting into it, we want to ask you a favor. In case you enjoy our content, do give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to show your support. It'll mean the world to us. Thank you. Four health tips for menopausal women. After hitting menopause herself, Dallas learned how important staying active was for healthy aging. Understanding that menopause can be quite a challenge for some, she was happy her symptoms were relatively light. Dallas explained, Menopause is different for everyone. For many women, it can be slow metabolism, affect bone density, and lead to joint pain. That's why staying active during and after menopause is important. I started menopause at 50. I was lucky that my symptoms were relatively light, similar to those of my mom, Edna, who is still a fitness fanatic. Aside from hot flashes, the worst symptom I had was restless sleep. Here are the four tips she gives to women to age in a healthier way and reduce weight gain post-menopause. Number one, eat in calorie deficit. Radke has explained that keeping a calorie deficit, healthy diet, can reduce the weight gain most women experience after menopause. Eat more fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Reduce processed food and high-fat foods. If postmenopausal women cut back on calories and up the intensity of their exercise, they lose weight and tone up, just like younger women. It may be slower, but it happens. Number two, manage stress levels. High stress levels and anxiety can take a toll on your raging hormones, so Dallas advises managing stress levels through mindful practices. Use yoga, meditation, or deep breathing exercises to keep stress levels in check to manage weight during menopause. Number three, regular exercise. Dallas emphasizes a lot on moving your body instead of becoming slower as you age. She has always motivated aging women to add regular exercise to their lifestyle to preserve lean muscle mass, boost metabolism, and support bone health. The biggest mistake most women make is that they stop pushing outside of their comfort zone. They don't lift heavy enough. They stop doing cardio or strength training. A lot of women are afraid to get too big and bulky, but that's not going to happen. Mix cardio, strength training, and flexibility exercises for effective weight management, she says. But before we get into Dallas's fourth tip, we're thrilled to announce that our highly requested ebook, 8 Minute Fitness at 50 Plus, is now here. This comprehensive fitness guide is specially curated for individuals over the age of 50 who are committed to leading a healthy and active lifestyle. Packed with expert advice and tailored workouts, it's your key to a vibrant and active life. 
but hurry. Exclusive price is for 48 hours only. Click the link in the description to grab your copy now, and let's start this incredible fitness journey together. Now, let's shift the focus back on Dallas's last tip. Number four, have enough sleep. Nothing beats an adequate amount of sleep as you age. Dallas explains that because the hormones in your body have drastic changes during menopause, it's essential to prioritize and maintain a good sleep cycle. Aim for seven to eight hours per night to regulate metabolism and appetite. Sometimes hormones need to be adjusted, but all of the above will contribute to a better night's sleep. The top five foods Dallas eats for longevity. Dallas turned out to be a food scientist on Instagram, sharing her delicious meals to show everyone that healthy food can be fun and yummy too. She emphasizes a balanced, nutritious diet split into small portions with a major focus on protein. In a recent podcast, she said, Muscle building through exercise is a bonus. Muscle maintenance through diet is base camp, something everyone can and should do. Remember, a fit body is built in the kitchen, not just at the gym. So get your nutrition right. Now let's dive in to her top five foods for longevity. Number one, salmon and chicken. Dallas focuses the most on adding protein to every meal of the day. She makes sure to have a variety of rich protein sources, including salmon, turkey, hard-boiled eggs, grilled chicken, ground beef, and tuna. According to her, the average requirement of protein is 0.7 to 1 grams of protein per body weight, which needs to be fulfilled. Adding more protein to your diet is set to minimize your sugar cravings excessively, also triggering the reward hormone dopamine in your brain. I try to eat protein at every meal, opting for lean meats when available. High-quality proteins with essential amino acids are crucial for optimal muscle health, she says. Number 2. Greek Yogurt Dallas swears by Greek yogurt, her daily dose of creamy goodness and protein-packed delight be it for breakfast or an evening snack. Greek yogurt is her go-to ingredient, and it's of no surprise, Greek yogurt is known to be a great source of protein and vitamin B12. She can pair it with almost anything and everything. Greek yogurt contains more protein compared to regular yogurt. It's also a good source of calcium and provides probiotics that are good for your gut health, she explains. Number three, frozen mixed berries. She adds a burst of frosty fun to her meals with a sprinkle of frozen berries. Frozen mixed berries are full of natural antioxidants and fiber, making them a healthy addition to any meal, so Dallas doesn't miss a chance to add them to her plate. Her favorites include frozen blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. Frozen mixed berries can retain more nutrients than fresh berries. I like to top almost all my protein bowls with them for that extra dose of fiber and antioxidants. I embrace fresh fruits to boost my fiber intake. Remember that consuming whole fruits is more beneficial than fruit juices, she says. Number four, flax seeds and nuts. Dallas can't go a day without adding flax seeds to her bowl. According to her, seeds and nuts are packed with healthy fats and protein, and they offer loads of health benefits too. Her favorite picks include pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, walnuts, almonds, and Brazilian nuts. Whether it's a bowl of yogurt or granola, Dallas would always finish it off by garnishing it with a handful of seeds and nuts. Their high content of tryptophan can aid in promoting better sleep and mood regulation, she says. Number 5. Whole Grain Sourdough Bread Sourdough is her go-to carbohydrate source of the day. She's been using it for years now, and there's no going back to regular bread ever since. Why? Dallas explains that sourdough bread is a healthy carb option that's packed with nutrients. Since it's low in gluten, sourdough is easier on the stomach, lowers chronic disease risk, and even promotes healthy aging. Talking about her diet, this is what she said. I cook 90% of my meals and keep them simple. My first meal of the day is late, usually 1 p.m. Not everyone likes to eat this late, but that's what works for me. My last food is eaten by approximately 9.30 p.m. I eat slowly, because I like to enjoy what I eat. While being such an advocate of clean eating, the fitness star follows an interesting indulge rule, the 80-20. I eat healthy 80% of the time and indulge 20% of the time with no remorse. 
Her guilty pleasure, something she doesn't live a day without, is having a bowl of mocha chocolate ice cream with a scoop of vanilla protein powder before bed, a treat that even wowed her followers on Instagram. The top five foods Dallas avoids. Next on, let's explore the five foods Dallas has eliminated from her diet. She calls them hormone disruptors. They include the following. Number one, processed food. Firstly, Dallas has completely eliminated highly processed foods, like chips, candies, and fried food from her diet. Processed foods like these tend to disrupt your hormones and worsen symptoms during menopause, contributing to excessive weight gain. Number two, white sugar. Dallas explains that too much sugar can worsen menopausal symptoms, making you feel more tired. She's replaced white sugar with healthier options like brown sugar and raw honey. Number three, alcohol. According to Dallas, alcohol is calorie dense and can add extra empty calories to your diet. It also disrupts sleep and dehydrates the body. Hence, she made sure to limit alcohol consumption over the years. Number four, gluten. A gluten-free diet appears to fasten the digestion process and delay menopause in women, according to Dallas, so she makes sure to opt for more gluten-free options. Number five, caffeine. A recent study suggested that too much caffeine can worsen the symptoms of hot flashes and night sweats in menopausal women. Since Dallas experienced this herself, she makes sure to limit her caffeine intake. Four supplements Dallas takes daily. Dallas explains that aging naturally leads to a decrease in muscle mass, bone density, and strength. However, there is evidence that supplementation positively affects these age-related changes. She makes sure to incorporate four supplements into her daily routine. Number one, creatine. Creatine is her holy grail before or after a workout. She prefers to include it in either pomegranate or grape juice. I like to add 5 grams of creatine to a 50-50 mix of water or grape juice. Creatine is important for aging women because it can help maintain muscle mass, strength, and overall physical function as they age. It fuels your brain, muscles, and organs, and is especially important during exercise, she says. Number 2. Protein Powder It's amazing how this woman comes up with unique ways of using protein powder. She can make about anything, and I kid you not. Dallas has been sharing ways of making pancakes, shakes, oatmeal, waffles, and even ice cream topped with protein powder. That surely is creative. Number three, essential amino acids, EAAs. She doesn't miss a day without EAAs, multivitamins 50+, omega-3, vitamin D3, and B13, which add to her daily protein intake. Often I don't reach my daily protein target, which is why I frequently supplement with essential amino acids and take my daily women's 50 plus vitamins. Number four, magnesium. According to Dallas, menopausal women might be doing everything right, but might still be suffering to fall asleep. That's when a magnesium supplement does the trick. It helps get the best, deepest night's sleep. Dallas's workout routine. The 60-year-old has been all about fitness since her 20s and hasn't stopped ever since. For Dallas, working out has been more of an evolution. She's redefined her fitness as her body matured. In my 20s, it was all about cardio, participating in marathons, and fitting into my favorite jeans. Back then, building or preserving muscle wasn't a common topic of discussion for women. In my 30s, however, I embraced high-intensity workouts, leading classes in kickboxing and aerobics. But as I hit 40, it wasn't solely about physical fitness. It became a mental challenge. And now in my 60s with menopause, the importance of rest has brought balance. I focus on activities that promote physical and mental well-being. I realized I no longer need to exercise excessively. Fitness means intentional movement, not just pushing harder. Dallas likes to mix things up to keep challenging her body each day. She works out five to six days a week prioritizing strength training, but doesn't follow the same day-to-day routine. She makes sure to incorporate three types of exercises each day. Number one, mobility and stretching exercises. According to Dallas, mobility and flexibility are something older people really need to focus on. I think a lot of people forget practicing balancing as they age, which is very important to prevent falls, just like getting up, moving your joints, and doing a static stretch. Something like athletics you did back in elementary school. 
I don't really see people doing these basic movements anymore. Regular mobility exercises enhance joint and muscle flexibility, improving movement, and reducing injury risks. She starts with 3-10 to minute morning stretches every day and tries repeating them as often as possible. The body stretches she includes are cat cows, 8 reps, deep squats, 8 reps, side blends, 8 reps, figure fours, 8 reps, stationary lunges, 8 reps, wall stretches, 8 reps. Number 2. Cardio exercises. Dallas focuses on cardio exercises at least 3 times a week. 150 minutes a week on average is great for your heart, Dallas says. She makes sure to prioritize moving her body, even during the busiest days. Number 3. Strength training. She emphasizes strength training a lot and focuses on it 3-5 to five times a week. I've never chased fat loss. There's so much focus on losing fat. It's like it needs to be reversed. Muscle is the organ of longevity we need to focus on to build our cognitive health. We need to focus on teaching people to build muscle. Nobody wants to lose the ability to run or play soccer with the kids just because they're a certain age, says the 60-year-old mama. Dallas has lived by the fact that consistency is queen. In a recent interview, she said, The difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do. Strength is the product of struggle. You must do what others don't, achieve what others won't, but at the same time have fun doing it. There's enjoyment on the path of excellence. I embrace it. I do have days when I wake up to feel kind of stiff from the workout I did yesterday, which I wouldn't have had in the past, but that's not going to slow me down. I want to keep pushing myself, she says. So what's holding you back? Quit munching on that pack of chips and consider incorporating some form of physical inactivity today. We'd love to know what tips you're about to use yourself, so feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our last video about Dallas's 91-year-old mom, who often gets mistaken for a woman in her 60s.